Good morning, welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Right now, we'll be digging deep into the facts of what occurred yesterday in Emo State, where gunshots were heard, and that's because um, the Emo speaker had suspended minority leader and five other lawmakers. We're now being joined by Mr. Igwim. Good morning, thank you for joining us, the suspended chief whip. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Okay. So I want you to help us understand what happened yesterday. Why were you suspended um, along with five other lawmakers? And the basis was, quote unquote, on parliamentary conduct. Could you explain to us what that means, please? Yeah, this line is... This, the line is... Uh, even, even what happened in Emo State yesterday? Yes. Why, why were you suspended? And what, what did they mean when they say you were suspended for unparliamentary conduct? Well, to me, it's, a, it's still a mystery because as a ranking member of the House, um, I, that language is very funny because uh, two days ago, I met with the Speaker. We had the, the, we have a um, breakfast together. So... Um, and yesterday, when the cards convened, ordinarily, we're supposed to have what is called the executive section. But we noticed that some uh, speaker and the deputy speaker went to hotel with some members uh, were from my other colleagues, some of things. And uh, they came to the, uh, of the plenary. And um, there you go. Uh, we want to know that at the end of the day, said some people are suspended and... Uh, and myself as uh, the chief whip, that my office is held by dissolved. So I don't know. That's not because ordinary under other 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 eleven of the of the of the study rule of the house. If uh, if your every member is fired or fired or something or fine one thing, you you are referred to uh, what is called the um, ethics and privileges, where the person will be tried and you come and explain what is I mean the grand constitution is clear. You have to hear him out. You can't, you can't pass a judgment on somebody at, at his back. So to me, uh, it's unbelievable that um, in this, uh, it's, this uh, 20th century or the first century, and this is uh, our nation democracy, somebody can just say unparliamentary, um, unparliamentary conduct. I don't know, I've been a lawyer of so many years, I don't know, I've not heard of that language. And if somebody has committed any this, uh, the thing is that you have to put into, but according to the, Rules of the house. If, if, if this matter is taken to court, the court will rely on the rules of the house. This has not been taken care of. And uh, even the, the, uh, the um, House Committee on, the, on Information, by, by, by Josh Ndulu, granted an interview and said, where he said, I did not do anything. But they feel that they want somebody that will be And uh, if you want to know, uh, during the eighth house, during the Russia to Croatia administration, I was the chief house. I was the chief, a uh, chief whip. During the head of the uh, uh, short administration, I was minority whip. Now, now I'm the chief whip. So if you are not going to say, I don't know the job, I wonder how people that have never served up to two years in the house will tell somebody that spent six years, but I don't know what I'm doing. So that is just it. So okay, the so issue of asking what you've done, you should be directed to the speaker. And his cohorts. All right. Um, Mr. Igwe, was there any controversy, you know, in the last few days or weeks leading to yesterday's events? There is, um, um, oh, some of the papers are reporting that there might have been issues concerning mismanagement of funds. Mismanagement of funds by who? Um, in any of the tiers of government, in the local government level, in the, in the State House of Assembly, or maybe in Imo states in general. I'm not aware of that. The okay. truth is that we the, over the over. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's let's hear you. Over the like what I've said to other your sister uh, stations, our speaker he said we he has been the you know, uh, sworn in over eight months now. I've not been able to do this to, to take the house to meet the governor, and our governor is a giver. Our governor is a father. And come on, for our statutory, statutory, statutory benefits have not been given to us. So members are wondering why they can't they have a speaker. They can't interface with their governor. Even during, the past, during this uh, security breach in Imo State, we have wanted to meet the governor to, to sympathize with him. But our speaker refused. 
So we don't know. All this is fired up. And nobody, we were taking it with, uh, we are taking it with uh, maybe that this is our speaker. We believe maybe he's learning. So I don't know. And uh, the only thing I noticed is that for the past three, four days, members have been showing their anger in our WhatsApp group. And that was all. That was it. Maybe if it is because of people, some people commented on WhatsApp group that make him to, uh, to um, uh, kind of uh, give their suspension. But what about a dream? I never commented. I'm a ranking member. No, okay. What, what, what kind of comments are you referring to now? I mean, I mean, if you are a human being, when people have not been given land, people have not been given land, people have not been given uh, their rent, people have not been meant to see the governor, and we are, we are meant to meet what we are meant to do our constituency project or the other uh, 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 things that are tied to the constitution or the last budget. We've not been seen. And above all, session of people went at the Pass a vote of confidence on the governor, which is 100% okay, praising him for granting autonomy. And the, the, the autonomy, financial autonomy bill has not even been laid before the house. So, some of us are ranking as in this is as a abnormal. Mr. Egrim, you mentioned yeah. um, during your first answer to our questions that you had had breakfast with the speaker. This was two days ago, so everything seemed fine. And then yesterday, you know, this happened. But you mentioned that before that, they had gone to a hotel with some other lawmakers. So, and then you also went on to talk about a particular WhatsApp group and squabbles in there. So then, are you saying that the basis for your suspension and that of other members are personal and nothing official? I think it's personal. I don't know. I don't, I'm still, I'm still, uh, I'm, still um, I'm lost. What I noticed is about uh, the same day, the same day today, yesterday, or two days ago to living the speaker, when I was a man, I was sensing uh, that things are not normal. I went to deputy speaker, find out from say, Mr. Mara, or my dears, what is going on? You are not carrying my law. He said, it is being rumored that I'm hobnobbing with uh, the former governor, Richard Sokorocha. I said, hey, no, no, Richard Sokorocha to my brother, I'm from Midian, I don't know, from Midian, I don't know. So I don't know. That is not an issue. Then uh, the, 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 our incumbent governor is a brother too. It's a man who uh, gave me money when I was sick. So where are people making all these uh, unfolding uh, rumors? You say you had it from the power of our uh, program, but say that's your own business. And I left this office. So that's it. So Mr. Agrim, can you also react to a statement by the speaker who had said that the decision to suspend you and the other five lawmakers was, was taken at the executive session of the House. And, and another statement here is saying that there was actually no executive session. So was there actually yeah, well, an executive session? If you, if you have, your, if you have your, your member or your correspondence in the world, please kindly go to the pattern um, of the eighth or the, uh, the staff. Five hours on this, there was anything executive session yesterday. There was no executive session. There was no executive session. Uh, there was no executive session. Just something that uh, the man decided, took some group of people and, uh, to, uh, and uh, went to one hotel to formalize this. Although, if, if you want to, I was not suspended. I was only relieved of my leadership of uh, position. So the six of, six of my colleagues were all suspended. And for you to suspend somebody, like I said, under our, our, our rule, our rule at, at, at 11, or the 11, these people should come to, they will be what is called ethics and privileges. They will be, they will be kind of someone, and they will say, why are you conducting unparliamentary, unparliamentary uh, conduct? So, nothing like that was done. The, the, um, you mentioned the financial autonomy bill not passed yet, but there's people who went ahead to thank the governor and congratulate him. Um, do you know these people, and are they some of the people who have now been appointed? Well, I think uh, some of this, like I said, you, you, I'm only saying my own part of uh, the, the story, because this is the story now, that Gonshaw was, uh, I was in Imo as of assembly, Chief Menzwar was suspended, the chief was removed. But what I'm saying to you is that some of the effect or what illegality that has been committed by the Paul and Megan administration. If you must know, 
For the past eight months, no member being has been treated. We only we, we, we speak at some the house when there's an executive bill or any executive uh, business to be done. So that is how Parliament is run. So, okay. so if, if, you, if you were going to, um, you know, vote with regards, um, you know, the, if there was going to be a vote of confidence on the Speaker, uh, where would you stand? Do you think he's capable of handling the activities as Speaker of the Imo State House of Assembly? Well, to me, I mean, uh, for, for him to have, I mean, the, uh, the, our governor, uh, who is a parliamentary, might have seen some quality in him. But uh, the, this, the problem we're having in the house started when the house, when the, rule, the, uh, the, the standing rules of the house was, was amended to uh, allow non-ranking member to be speaker and deputy speaker. Because there's always experience in parliament. Parliament is not for all commands. But the fact that the deputy speaker is a non is a non-ranking member, the speaker is a non-ranking member. So everything they do believe they believe is true. They believe is the right thing. And they don't they, are, they, they, they keep themselves up from advice from people like us. Because I swear it, I swear I'm not eight years in the house. I'm my own man in the house. So I'm an institution of parliament. Okay? So that is it. Okay, well, um, you know, like you said, you know, they're, they're not people who have a lot of experience in the House. What steps do you think you will be taking now? Would you be approaching the governor, even if you already mentioned that you've not had, uh, you know, access to the oh, governor? Oh, oh, oh. They, 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 they invite us, and I believe that. If not, we move on. We move on. That's the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. I mean, it's not the end of the world, and... Um, Politics is, uh, is, is open, it's not closed, so we move on. Well, do you think you will have access to the governor? You, you mentioned that it was, a, it was a problem getting to see the governor in the last uh, long while. Uh, do you think that no, might be even more no, difficult no, now? You, if that's a war happened, he will uh, definitely invite us. Definitely, very, very soon. As a father, a liberal father, a giver. So. Okay. All right, Mr. Egwim, um, I want us to get more clarity on the gunshots that was heard, you know, from, you know, that place. Was that really gunshots fired? Who fired the gunshots? Do you have those answers? And do the security aides actually, you know, bring in weapons? Are they allowed to bring in weapons to the house? That is, uh, that is, that is just uh, the problem because I find out that um, if you are holding plenary, Half of the people that we see is a policeman with guns. So this is the emergence of this speaker. So, uh, the gunshot, there was a lot of gunshot, and uh, it's God that, but I didn't know who are the people that were shooting because we were in plenary. Right? And the gunshot was outside. Many, many, you know, several gunshots. So, and um, my own, my own, uh, my own, uh, Police may have to evacuate me from there. Okay. Do you have any information if anyone sustained injuries? No, 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 not, not, not to my own knowledge. Okay. But Mr. Egrim, you just mentioned that since, you know, the speaker, um, his channel, there's been like a militarization, so to speak. You said policemen have been carrying guns. You're saying this is, this wasn't how it was before? Pardon? You mentioned that since the tenure of the speaker, that policemen have been carrying guns in the house. So I'm trying to get confirmation from you if, you know, it wasn't like this before. Policemen didn't use to carry guns in the house during plenary before. No, it's on problem. It's true. the whole, uh, like, people think it's, it's, it's different from other, it's not different from other, other houses of assembly. I mean, they don't bring in guns where... Arguments have been, uh, I mean, so I don't know why it's like that in most days. Hmm. So do you think that's something that should be looked into? Because, I mean, it's a dangerous weapon. Anyone could have sustained injuries. Anyone could have been hurt. Anyone could have lost their lives. So do you think that's something that needs to be, you know, addressed? Yeah, that, 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 should, that should be a national issue. It should be a national issue because uh, so we don't have a kind of uh, accidental discharge inside the plenary. I don't know. I, I live in the UK before. I never had that people bring gone inside the plenary or the chamber. Okay. 
Um, so I'm, I'm taking us back to some of the things that you mentioned. You said uh, there were people who had complained. Now, one of the things that they had complained about is uh, they were not given land. What land exactly were they meant to be given um, that they are complaining I, I about? I have to go now because I, you told me that I will spend 10 minutes, right? Yeah, the land, I mean, the land is particularly. Once you, are, once you are inaugurated as a house member, you'll be given a land. The, the, the system pays your house rent for a two years. And we will stay two years. And that's what is called constituency project. Right now, I have nothing to show in my constituency that I've done anything. That things are inside the was the better in the project, right? All right. Um, Arthur Egwim, thank you very much for spending time with us this morning. We would uh, follow up with uh, you know events yes. from the Imo State House of Assembly, and we hope that we can speak with you again. Thank, thank you. you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Um, it seems uh, like uh, just a couple of per personal issues that have snowballed seems into... Seems like that to me. Um, this, you know, I was also going to ask, you know, what's the challenge with having a relationship with the former governor? Um, if that's also a reason that, you know, can get someone suspended. And there's also something that he mentioned, that people were complaining in their WhatsApp group, but he didn't say anything, no. <laughs> Even if he so. had said something... <laughs> Where in the constitution, you know, or in their yes. own rules that you can't complain and if you complain, you will of be suspended. I mean, of course you can. Why can you of not complain you about you know, something? But it, it just sounded to me like, well, you know, since I didn't say anything, you could suspend them. But what? <laughs> well, That's how you look at it. But really, many disturbing issues that, you know, I've seen from this, from this story. First of all, why should any police man or any security aide have fired a, a gun. Why? So, 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 from the news report that I read, it said that they, you know, only fired gunshots, you know, to escort the speaker, you know, back to his car really? away from there. Yeah, that's that's what it said. So, a gunshot so is now I'd, the basis for escorting. Obviously wrong. Out of a... Obviously wrong. You know, but you know, that's that's what it says. You know, it it, it tries to make it look paint. It paints a story that it is not gunshots. You know, um, at any of the lawmakers or to. Um, hurt anyone, you know, it's really just to scare people away. In some places, you, sh you, sh you, you are not even allowed to honk your horn because it's noise, it's public disturbance. Yeah, well, Talk less of firing a gun just to make way. I mean, you've caused obviously, panic obviously now. Obviously unlawful. It's made the story uh, bigger than yes. the mere suspension of, you know, those lawmakers. Yes, it is. Um, but let's see how it goes, you know, and um, I'm, I'm really just reacting from, you know, this conversation and some of the things that he's saying, you know, the, the governor is the father to all and some of all of that, you know, and so they will have to find ways to reach out to the governor and hear what he says um, and, you know, see if he can be re maybe reinstalled as a chief whip of the house or, or some other things like and that. And we do need to get legal experts to weigh in on this because we need to find out, um, does the speaker have the power to actually suspend any member of the house, especially when he mentioned that against, you know, this is basically against their their rules. He mentioned one article 10 and about the ethics and privileges and how you should have been summoned. Exactly, there should have been fair hearing. You should, your side of the story should have been, you know, sought, you know, rather than just you being uh, suspended or sacked or whatever. So there's just, just lots of uh, issues there that seems, you know, that's begging for attention. It, it really seems unparliamentary of the speaker to even do such. And you say those people are guilty of unparliamentary conduct. Is now speaking to a governor unparliamentary? I mean, shouldn't Absolutely we all not. be talking not about you know, oneness, unity in the state? So we really need to get to the bottom of this matter. But I'm think, I think everyone is aware of the issues between the former governor, Rocha Sokorocha, and uh, the uh, current governor, Hopo Sadima. They've had, you know, their squabbles for that a very long time. That shouldn't be a basis time. of anyone getting um, sacked. But, you know, it's politics, you know, and so it's expected that, you know, you, you would have to uh, express where your loyalties lie. Do you lie with, you know, whoever is in power? you lie with the, you know, person that he's loyalties not very, very fond of? Loyalties lie to your constituents and the people you represent. So That's what it should po be. Politically, there's always those expectations. It's not enough to suspend any but it's not enough to punish anyone because, yes, like you've said, your loyalties and your allegiance should be to the people who have nominated you and voted for you to be in that position. But, you know, you know, on the other side, there's also, you know, politics, which people want to be, you know, to feel safe with the people around them. They want to know that, oh, you are loyal to me, um, which ha happens. And it's, it's, it's only in Nigeria that a person will get suspended because it's friends with someone who's not you know, friends with the governor or friends with the speaker and some, some of I all that I thought that, that ended in primary school, but apparently. Well, it still happens here. Um, it, it is just, you know, it's a picture of what 
you know, it feels like. And, and it, it, it feels like all oh, being in the APC. You remember when the um, Lagos uh, Central Representative um, and Senator uh, Rami Tinubu was asking, you know, um, the other tenant of the yes. um, Smarter DM, I believe, um, if you, are you a traitor or are you with the PDP? I can't remember what the statement she was a making. Wolf in are you a wolf in sheep's Exactly. Um, she Saying knows. keep quiet as long as, you know, we're not, you're not talking about us in a positive light. And so that's exactly it what really it is. It really is illogical. There's those opinion. expectations that you will, you know, have allegiances or you have alliances here and there with um, whoever it is as a position of power. And, you know, this also really just shows that a lot of, you know, these people who are in the um, houses of assembly aren't there necessarily because of the people or aren't there necessarily because the people voted them there they're there because somehow some way some political godfather put them in there and so they have to remain loyal hmm. to whoever it is that let them be you know hold that position um and that's where some of all these things will come from hmm. they will take sides they will it's it's a sad 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 see picture, i really hope may, maybe the governor maybe the, the the long arm of the law just intervenes because i fear for the president that this is certain that you know every other lawmaker in nigeria is looking at emo state right now and seeing how they're going to handle this matter and if if they just take this line down it just means that any other speaker it, you know can't sack or suspend anybody who doesn't dance to your tune well, so justice should prevail in this situation but and not I, just I, I don't think this this would be based on alliances I don't think this and loyalties. particular case will be set in precedence. I think for since nineteen ninety nine we've had cases like this, very many of them in different states across the country. We've had it in Edo State, we've had it in Oshun State, we've had it in many, many places but where, they, they where people back. are suspended. We've had, you know, where maze the maze is stolen. We've had where there are fights, yes. physical fights in the State House of Assembly. So it's not the first time. You know, this is just a picture of what our politics is like. The only reason why this one may have looked a little bad is because there were gunshots fired in the video that we saw. But it's not the first time that people have been suspended for you know, reasons that nobody can explain. It's also not the first time that, um, you know, people would, you know, come together and, you know, they're not even up to the, the number that you would expect that will be able to impeach a speaker. And they will impeach a speaker. And, you know, Like this executive session that they said things. held, but others are saying they didn't hold. Exactly. It's not... Yeah. So this, this, aren't, this isn't a new or strange thing in Nigerian politics, both at the federal level and at the, the state level. You know, it happens everywhere. It tells and paints a picture of what our politics truly is like and um, how, you know, we allow some level of unlawfulness enter into the state. I mean, Mr. Jada Johnson said it all. It's, we have a situation where lawmakers seem to be lawbreakers. And what, what really is our hope that they can make laws in our favor as the people? All the best to author agreement, the six uh, or the many five. Let's see how that turns out. Stay with us. So we have more of these conversations coming your way. Lot Loretta on our chair. And her screening is what we're going to be talking about uh, next here on PLOS TV Africa.